Greetings everyone. Welcome to psychopathology class. This is going to be one of the most interesting classes you've had because it is now, you know, dealing with the understanding of the mental disorders. It is where you learn almost every disorder you've been wanting to learn. It is where you want to understand the DSM-5 you've been thinking about. And therefore, I'm imagining by the end of this class, you know, you're going to be conversant with what we call psychopathology or literally let's talk about mental disorders that are around us and the ones you've been hearing about that are in detail in the DSM-5. I hope by the end of this class you'll be able to be able to understand the symptomology of various disorders and then how to treat them. Of course, our focus will not be on treatment more because there are many classes that are really tackling the treatment. And, in, and also our focus won't be so much on assessment because there's a, a whole course on assessment. But this class particularly is just going to help you understand the disorder. You've been hearing about major depression, bipolar, you know, psychosexual disorders, anxiety disorders, and many, so many disorders, child psychopathology, adolescent psychopathology. And therefore this class is what is going to tell you what exactly is that, what it entails, what are the symptomologies, how can you be able to know that someone has this condition and that kind of stuff. And as you do that, once you understand this, then the DSM-5 is going to be one of the easiest books to understand to help you make a diagnosis once you've done your clinical intake. Of course, in psychology, the first thing you always do is always ensure after you've done the whole uh, logistical consideration, you do a clinical intake. After the clinical intake, you do tests. After some tests, you make a diagnosis. But you see, you cannot make a diagnosis of what you don't understand. And that is exactly what this class is going to do, to help you understand the disorders. The assessment will help you to do a clinical intake and how to make an assessment, do some tests. And of course, some classes like ethics introduce you on some of the ethical considerations in terms of logistics of understanding uh, your client before you do anything with them. So this class is, is where at the point you need to make a diagnosis, we need to help you to understand what are you making of. What is a diagnosis and how did you come up with what makes you think this is a major depression and not bipolar or what is phobia and not panic so basically this is what this class entails and it's going to be exciting to see how we're going to interact how we're going to understand of course in our next class i'm going to tell you the overview and many things the assessments that are going to be in this class but as we introduce the problem based learning just know that uh, we're going to really learn how to resolve problems, how to come up with solutions for certain problems within the community, the industry, and of course the whole uh, 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 mental health area. So I am excited to be the one taking you this class. I am excited, looking forward to see how we're going to share our interaction. I am excited just to know how this is going to pan out, as I know you already have so much. And I want to learn too, as you learn from us. So we're going to have an interaction. You know, it's always going to be an interaction. It's not going to be a one person. On the lecture, it's just an interaction in learning. Our virtual classrooms are the best classroom. Very modern, allows interactions, allows feedbacks, allows groups, allows, allows everything that makes a class more interesting. So I am excited to take you this class and I will be learning from you as you learn a lot from me, as we learn from each other and as we interact. Thank you so much for choosing this class this semester. See you then.